So, what's your favorite tool? Um, I have a couple, but I like the Allen key set because you can use it uh, yeah, for almost anything on a bike. So this is really nice to have in your toolbox and you can almost get the bike apart with, with this. And uh, of course the Torque key is really nice to have, a small one, easy to manage. It's nice to have in the car and you have to fix the saddle or whatever. So. And so what's the most unusual thing you've got in your toolbox? Uh, I think it's, uh, it's maybe this. <laughs> it's sort of a lighter, but when you're outside it's sometimes hard with a normal lighter, so this is like a gas lighter. Can you explain how you use the tool with, uh, with the Shimano Di2? Sometimes you put uh, like the shrinking socks around it to protect it from the water. Okay. And uh, so you use the lighter to shrink the sock. Right, okay, yeah, to keep, to the, heat keep it. it waterproof. This is the most unusual thing I have. And so what's your trademark mechanics trick? Yeah, you have a couple like, have to check if the headset is loose, you can sit on the, on the frame and hold the headset. You can really feel with the fingertips if it's loose or not. Not only drop it on the ground, but really feel it. If you put really the fingers on the headset, then you, you can really feel it. Who's the fussiest rider that you've worked with? Ah, it's di that's a really difficult, difficult question because some riders are really perfectionist. I think we have uh, uh, Lars van der Haar, you know him? He's really perfectionist concerning his bike. He feels everything and he's always right also. If you say this, if you a millimeter, this or that. John is also known for this, uh, digging Kolb. He, he say one saddle is one millimeter too high and it's, it is. And some riders, they, they uh, don't mind. <laughs> yeah. So what's the strangest thing that a riser had, uh, has asked for? I think John in uh, Roubaix, he ride with the sticker of his son on the frame. There was a, a footprint of his son. And that was really nice. He's a bit superstitious in that way. It helped him apparently because he won, so <laughs> yeah. So how do you unwind as a mechanic? How do you put your feet up? Uh, cycling. I, I cycle myself and yeah, I like it. When I'm home, I go cycling. Have you got a giant like one of these? I have, yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. <laughs> in perfect condition. Of course. <laughs> Always perfectly clean then. <laughs>